Welcome to Public House, intimate conversations with people making a difference in the Hudson Valley. And now from Paula's Public House in Poughkeepsie, here's Paula Young. Hi, I'm Paula Young. Welcome to Public House. Today I have a very interesting friend and interviewee, and this is Bianca Iris. Bianca Iris, which means white iris. Welcome yes. to the pub. Thank you for having you me. You and I had an interesting way of meeting. Yes. You came in to my former wine bar years ago, and I remember thinking you were a spectacular woman, and then you walked in the door again, and you are a spectacular woman who happens to have a prosthetic leg. I do. And who happens to have some story that goes with that. So tell me about you, you have this rock star leg. <laughs> what happened? Uh, 15 years ago, I was uh, involved in a traumatic accident in Manhattan. And, uh, a cab was, jumped a curb, right? Yes, you I was were struck pinned. by an impaired driver. I was actually getting out of a cab. Right. And I was pinned. Um, I have no memory of the accident, actually. I woke up three weeks later out of a coma to be told that this happened. And um, I was told that I would never walk again. You lost your... I lost my entire left leg. Uh, fractured. Including your hip? Um, I still have my hip. So femur, everything is gone. Right. Uh, broken neck, broke both arms, shattered hip and pelvis. So... Um, You're <laughs> stunningly beautiful now. Thank so they you. put you together well. They put me together. Um, 54 surgeries over the past 15 years to get where I am today. Right. And that is why you're here to talk about... I've had a knee replacement, a hip replacement, and I've had surgery in my neck. Through accidents, through life. Those are three surgeries and I am in pain a good deal of my time. You have had 53 surgeries and I know that there is pain associated. You told me that your pain is relieved by something that you discovered and I want to talk about that. Yes. So for about 12 years, I was managing my chronic pain with prescription medication. And two years ago, I developed toxic liver syndrome. So my body started rejecting all synthetic medications and I had to find an alternative. Uh, someone brought to my attention um, CBD, which is cannabidiol, which is a compound found- Cannabid oil. Uh, cannabidiol. It's cannabidiol a oil. Cannabidiol oil. Okay. Yes, it, it's a mouthful. Say that three times. I, I practice it. Cannabidiol, cannabidiol, <laughs> cannabidiol. I'm good at it. <laughs> Sounds like cannabis, but it isn't Sounds cannabis. Like, well, actually, it is. It's a compound found in the cannabis plant, which is hemp. Which is hemp. So you have the cannabis family. So think of it like citrus. You have lemons and limes. And the cannabis family, you have marijuana and you have hemp. Hemp has low levels of THC, high levels of CBD. Hemp is also used to make rope, to make fabric. Yes. Marijuana is used to make money. Yes. So, and I guess in Colorado to have fun. Yes. Yeah, so but we're not talking about pot, folks, so forget it. Yes. We're talking about hemp and the byproduct of hemp. Byproduct of hemp, yes. And with hemp is, and what's good about it is it's sustainable. And we're, other than using it for a medication, we're discovering ways that we can use it you know, in our environment, we have hempcrete. Henry For Ford made a car yes. out of hemp. I, it's right. So, yeah. so we've got this hemp, and then they figured out a way to pull this oil out, which is the cannabidiol oil. Well, uh, about 30 years ago, they discovered that we have in our bodies something called the endogenous cannabinoid system. So it works. It's the largest self-regulatory system in our bodies, and it's responsible for maintaining homeostasis. Okay. What's Which is a sense of well-being. Which is a sense of well-being. Yes. So yeah. when you put a cannabinoid in your body, your ECS knows what to do with it. ECS? And ECS, endo, endogenous cannabinoid system. Okay. Knows what to do with it and just goes in there and it works with the receptors. We have CB1 receptors and CB2 receptors. CB1 is in our brain, CB2 is in our gut and the cannabinoids go and they regulate everything and bring so it back to... So this got brought to you and you said, let me try it. I can't deal with this pain anymore, let me try it. So you tried it. I and tried what it. happened? Um, well, I went through a heavy detox process the first month. From the liver... From the, you know, the toxic, the, just getting all the and synthetic that was all medications. all the synthetic medications and stuff that you 12 get in years, 54 surgeries, lots of antibiotics. So I went through a rough, you know, period 
of you know detox right then after that CBD builds up in your system so you just get better and better and better as you keep on taking it and you started taking it and you noticed that your pain was lessening it's a powerful anti-inflammatory it's antispasmodic it's you know um, helps with uh, well, muscle you, spasms what did it do for you all those things all those things absolutely um, I have osteoarthritis I have um, IBS, I have a lot of issues stemming from all the surgeries that I've had over the past 15 years. So um, I initially started taking it for nerve pain, but it solved all my other issues. That's so interesting. Psoriasis, eczema. We are realizing that nature has everything and, and, and in the natural form. I mean, Indians and, and native cultures all over the world have been using natural products. We somehow have gone to this crazy science-based medicine. Correct. Well, think about opiates. Opiates started with the poppy plant. Yes. But then scientists took it in the lab and they created a synthetic compound. Yes. So our bodies don't know what to do with synthetic no. well, medications. They, our body knows what well, to do with plants. Well, the opiates know how to create an opioid crisis in this country. On top of that, we've got all these constipated people, which is insane because that's the one thing that... I was constipated for many, many years. Yeah, I get <laughs> and that. It makes me very angry. Constipation. <laughs> On HBNN. I'm happy now. We're talking about that, <laughs> folks. Can you imagine? So, if you're interested in learning more about the CBD oil, I have to say that I don't take drugs. I never did. I don't even drink. I'll have a glass of champagne every now and then. But I, I am now going to start trying it because I want to get rid of some of my pain. So, I think this is so interesting and very exciting. And I hope this is every. You say it works. I it's heard worked from for me. many people that it works for them too. Yes, it's. I call it my miracle plan. And, uh, you know, return to Genesis, return to nature, return to earth. Now, you're a young woman. How old are you? I'm actually 38. Well, you look like <laughs> you're a kid. But there must be times that you say, you know, how could this have happened to me? And there has to be a lot of sadness in that. But in a way, this is providing you with a, a miracle relief? Well, yes. I, my sadness comes from the chronic pain that I had to deal with. I, I don't have sadness around the loss of my leg because... I have a leg and I have, it's and new walk. and improved. It's bionic. <laughs> so it's better than that old regular leg that I used to have. But I had sadness and you don't around have chronic. To shave it, which is I don't have to shave it. It doesn't get cold <laughs> and half off pedicures. So, <laughs> so my sadness was around my chronic pain and just dealing with that and not being able to do the things that I wanted to do, spend time with friends and family. CBD has allowed me to do that. So in a sense, it's given me my life back. That is a very cool story. And that's why I said, you know, when I met you, I need to get you here so people can hear about it. Drugs can be terrible, but nature can be good. And this is an opportunity for maybe those two to, to combine and meet. <laughs> and I want to thank you for sharing your story because it's deeply personal. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so for much for being me. so brave. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope we see you again soon. Thank you. Hi, I'm Paula Young, and I'm the proprietor here of Paula's Public House. Do join me for good food, good cheer, and good fellowship. We are here, we have fun, and we'd love to have you be a part of it. Come on down.